I am inside MT5 and I've loaded up the Forex Challenge Pass EA. And I'm going to do a test from the 13th of October to the 13th of November. The test in question is to see how well the EA performs when being put on an FTMO $100,000 challenge. I'm going to start the strategy test now. And you can see this is trading gold on the 1 minute time frame. I'm going to speed up the results slightly. But if you keep your eye on the trade history shortly you will see the trade starting to fall in. Now as you can see, this 100% automatic expert advisor doesn't trade every day. And that is because its entry criteria are exceptionally strict. Remember that this is hands-free trading, and you will have nothing to do. Here at the end of the strategy test, you can see that in the 30 days it passed an FTMO challenge with over $10,000 profit. Now running a test on an EA is very easy to do, however, let me now show you something which is beyond incredible with regards to the accuracy of this challenge passing bot. You may recall that I started the test on the 13th of October 2023, and I took it through to the 13th of November, which was the following month. What I'm going to show you now, is what would have happened if we had started another challenge on the 14th of October, and then another one on the 15th of October, and then the 16th of October and so on. What you are about to see is the expert advisor starting 22 different FTMO challenges on 22 separate and consecutive trading days. This means that whatever day you had started your challenge, you would have been turning the EA on in a different trading environment. However, the settings inside of this gold bot remain the same throughout the whole of the 30 days. So, instead of just looking at the results of one FTMO challenge, let's see what would have happened had we deployed the bot on 22 consecutive FTMO challenges, day after day after day. What you are witnessing is the tester opening 22 separate instances of MT5. Each time it opens, it starts the challenge on the following day. So the first test it will be performing will be on the 14th of October. The next test will be the 15th of October. The next test will be with the challenge starting on the 16th of October. And the tester will not stop until it reaches the last FTMO challenge, which will not have started until the 13th of November, obviously meaning that the last challenge will have only been running for a single day. When you take into account that gold does not trade on a weekend, in the calendar month from the 13th of October up until the 13th of November there were actually 22 trading days. As you can see from this report, out of the 22 challenges that began from the 13th of October there has already been 11 consecutive passes. As you can clearly see, there hasn't been a single failure and the remaining 11 challenges are all in extremely good positions, with only two of the challenges being down by a tiny $100. The EP hits that you can see refer to the days in which the bot was stopped out. And you can see from the 11 straight passes. There were 6 challenges that saw 2 stop losses throughout the challenge. Only to recover and go on and smash the FTMO challenge. Indeed the 12th challenge which is still ongoing has already suffered 3 stop losses and as you can see the balance is still above $100,000. If you are after a 100% pass rate on an FTMO challenge then contact us today. The bot can pass all challenge stages and go on to trade your live account afterwards. I hope you've enjoyed the content of the video today, and it would do the channel a lot of good if you would consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up to this video. Until next time, safe trading.